After you file your claim and you get them to file the claim, you want to meet them for the adjuster. You want to express value that I want to meet. I actually suggest to people to provide a calendar from you that actually says, hey, here's my calendar. When you schedule, go ahead and make sure that I'm available so I can be out here. So that way you can confirm that you'll be out there with that person. During the adjustment, what's going to happen? And you want to set the tone. Every time, every step, you want to set the tone for the next step for the homeowner. If you keep them educated, there's no problem. The problem happens when you don't educate what is the next step. You can do this yourself by training them. You can also do follow-up text messages, emails, landing pages, because that will keep it 100% known that this is what we're doing. Now, what you're gonna do during the adjustment, you're going to go ahead and meet with the adjuster. I like to come out with a photo report with no labels. So company cam is great, but no logo, no annotations. Here's my company report. If you got a little thumb drive, they're super cheap. Go to Office Depot, like a dollar for like five or something for those little ones. Put your pictures on it and say, hey, here's my photos in case you wanna use it. You will be shocked how many times adjusters will use your photos. And what you're doing, if you thought about going to court, you're submitting your evidence for them to use. So it's my evidence. Now I didn't point out that, hey, see this little thing right here? I just got you to submit my evidence. Now I can go to it and say, hey, actually in your picture, you can see the damage actually right there. That's when I annotate. Help make their job easy. Set up the ladder. Don't get confrontational. During the adjustment, you want to set the tone for the homeowner that he may or may not agree to the, uh, the numbers we're looking at. I'm only here to try to get scope. What is scope? Scope means that I want to cover the entire area that I want to, I want to verify that we're going to get the roof paid for. Not part of the roof, the entire roof. I want to know if they're going to pay for the gutters or not. I want to know if they're going to pay for the siding, the windows, the porche, the porch, the swimming pool, whatever it might be. I want to establish scope. Your field adjuster's job is to establish scope, not to set price. He may make a little estimate for you. That's all great. I don't care about his numbers. The only, only goal for you here is get scope established. Will you pay for this? Will you pay for that? I'm not worried about the roofing system as far as like, are you paying for one layer of ice and ice and water or two? You can ask them that, but I just want to know you're paying for the roof. You're paying for the flashings. You're paying for the siding. So think of the bigger items. That's what I want first.